We're up here in northern western Washington to check out Scottish Aquatics. Checking out Scottish Aquatics. We've got a whole bunch of freshwater tanks. a 125 gallon community tank uh, as you can see we got platies rainbow fish angel fish ball of shark basically a community a mix of all kinds of different fish in here everybody cohabitates just fine uh, there's lots of different kinds of corydoras in here running around the bottom here we also have zebra loaches clown loaches good little cleaner crew a um, couple placos, there's a clown placo, a high spotted, a uh, high fin spotted placo. What else? What Hiding, else? of course. Hiding, of course. Placos never come out. Don't like to be out during the day. There's a flag tail porthole catfish in here and a Raphael catfish that never come out as well. <laughs> so we never get to see those guys. Um, Hiding. Hiding. This is a non CO2 tank. I, I do dose with nutrients uh, once a week. What you dosing in there? Uh, well, when I have a chance to go out to co-op, I get Easy Green. If not, I go to my local and get some Seachem product called Aqua Vitro, okay. and it works pretty good. I seem to be seeing a lot of good growth. It's working out well. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Haven't quite figured out the system with this tank yet. I'm getting some. Uh, how do you say, some of the older leaves are, are dying off a little quicker than hoping. Yeah. You know, we got a little bit of black, black beard algae growing on some of the leaves. And well, that's all right, that's the life. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get a good balance here. Mm -hmm. I've kind of picked up my water change schedule and trying to do water changes a little more often. How many are you doing now? Uh, I'm trying to do it twice a week at this point, mm -hmm. um, from the once a week. Okay. These guys seem to be liking it. I mean, nobody's complaining. Nobody's yeah. having a problem. Which with lights it. you got on here? All right, so we got a couple different lights. We got a, <laughs> a Fluval 2.0, fresh and plant. Cool. We also have a Phoenix Stingray and a Beamworks, okay. which is a you know a cheap one you could buy off you Amazon. All three on there. All three on there. Right on. That could always, be could be my problem idea. with blackbeard algae. Always a good idea to mix light. Though. Yeah, well, right. yeah, exactly. I'm getting all kinds of different kinds of spectrums, you mm -hmm. know. The uh, 2.0 runs at 7,500, and these other ones, I think, are 6,500. Cool. Which, from what I've noticed, is 6,500 seems to be a little bit of a better spectrum mm -hmm. for plant growth. Yeah, <laughs> so we got we got three tanks here. Um, we have neon tetras in the first one, and some orange. What were they called? Ricara shrimp or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, lots of plants in here. We got a ritala. We got some crips. We have some java moss. We have 
uh, Pink Flamingo is kind of a little guy not, not doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that Pink Flamingo is... It's a tough one. Yeah. It's a it's tough a bit one, of a pain. absolutely. Yep. yep. Oh, you got the fully signed Aquarium Co-op hat on. I do, I do. I just noticed that. Yep. It's got all the signatures from all the guys. All right. Got Bob, Corey, you, <laughs> everybody. Well, I think I wrote on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my signature is worth anything. <laughs> one day. So we got another nano tank. Yep. Nice. This is, uh, Which size is this one? I believe this is an 11 gallon. So this is the loads are like eight, and this one's 11. Yep. Okay. And uh, this one is housing some German blue rams that are hiding, as well as red cherries, and that's pretty much it. I've been wanting to restock this tank with some some new fish. I think I'm going to put the rams back in the discus tank. Yeah, give them some bigger space. Yeah, when I pulled yeah. them out, they were actually breeding in the in the discus tank, but there was too many fish in there, and they were getting eaten. So right. I put them in here, trying to come up with a different equation, hoping they would successfully breed in here by themselves. Mm -hmm. But uh, that didn't happen. So I'm going to try putting them back in there, and wait for them to breed. Once they do, I'll just pull the rock and uh, incubate the eggs. Nice. This one over here houses white cloud minnows, golden white cloud minnows, and red cherries. Red cherry shrimp. Red cherry shrimp. I got red cherries kind of in a lot of the tanks because I had an overabundance mm -hmm. of red cherries in one of my tanks. They were just breeding and breeding and breeding. Nice. No stopping them, so. Always I, good when you I had it. enough to distribute. Yeah, you just have like that's like having too much money. You know? Yeah, right? <laughs> like, oh man, I've got too much money, guys. Well, only lately have I been taking advantage of taking them into the local fish store for yeah. credit. Trading them in. Trading them in. Always a good idea. Always a good idea. And here's the infamous discus tank. Infamous. Infamous. The star of the show, if you will. <laughs> These guys are bred by us. And we started with only about six discus and turned that into about 40 discus. Yeah. There's some bristlenose placos in there, some some dwarf petricolas, um, stir by corydoras, and a snowball placo as well. Nice. As far as plants go, you got Valsinaria, Vesuvius. Let's turn up the lights here for you. Oh, he's going big with lights. There we go. As you can see, very social discus. They're kind of in your face, wanting to know what you're doing. The social discus? The that's, social discus. That's why they're so good at breeding, right? Right. Yeah, these guys are not shy at all. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we love about them. I know I've heard a lot of people say that they are a timid fish, and not a lot of people want to keep them because they're hard to keep, and so on and so forth. These have been very easy for me, and I've had yeah. no problems with them. I only ever found them to be timid like during the daytime. Yeah. You know, the nighttime is when they get busy. I feel like I need to move this tank closer to the door because these guys are so social that they just, they'll, they'll basically swim with you as you walk by the tank. Yeah. Following you around, waiting for you to feed. Nice. We have, uh, this is all manzanita driftwood. There's some lotus plants in there. Yeah, but where'd you get these rocks? Where did I get those rocks? In my front yard. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> my front yard. Good, I like it. Rinsed them under some real hot water. Just gonna go outside, get some rocks. That's right. Just adult, just do some of that adulting. Do some of that adulting. Oh, the big yellow one I didn't even notice until I came, I'm seeing it on my camera. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Happens, you get blocked by all the blues. Mm -hmm. That's old yeller. Yep. This dog's gone bad. Nice. Now I have loads of lights on this tank as well. Yeah, the beams works. I got beam works for days. <laughs> you just found them? You like them? Uh, my Get local fish store them. had them for at a pretty decent price. Now when I started doing the fish keeping this time around, I I only started about two years ago, so I wasn't really into what was out. Last time I kept fish was about 10 years ago, so everything was still new to me, fresh to me. I didn't know what was what. LEDs were a new thing to me, so I didn't know what was a good LED or bad LED. Right. So I just seen they were not bad price, so I got them. Yeah, so you just go on for them? Hey. Yep. 
Is it working? It's working. It's working.